Hey, how's it going? This is Riley with Click Penguin. I'm on here to do another website SEO audit, and uh, let's just jump right into it. So today, the keyword or the key phrase that we're going to be looking at is pressure washing Naples, Florida. As you can see, this gets 350 searches every single month, and this keyword difficulty is out of 100. Three, obviously, is incredibly easy to rank for. Uh, so just real quick, I want you to imagine uh, how nice it would be to have 350 people because uh, every single one of these clicks, uh, you can assume most of them are one single person making that click. Uh, imagine what it would do for your business to have, um, call it even just 300 more clicks on your website. So I'm going to show you around. Uh, this is the software that I use to do all of the keyword research that I do. Um, it's called Ahrefs. And uh, let's get right into this. So I'm going to scroll down here and just show you um, kind of what, get an overview of what the SERPs look like. This stands for Search Engine Result Page. So I'm going to show you just an overview of what the SERP looks like for that keyword. And um, we're going to uh, not look at Yelp, Angie, Home Advisor, Thumbtack. Uh, so these are what's called aggregators. Um, as you can see, they're getting a lot of, or, uh, they're getting second most traffic. Um, but Google doesn't like ranking these. They only rank these uh, when the other websites aren't rank worthy. So um, anytime you see Yelp or Angie at the top of the, uh, search results when you search for your key phrase, then you know that it's most likely easy to rank for. Um, so let's look past uh, Yelp, Angie, Home Advisor, and Thumbtack. As you can see, the DR right here is called the domain rating. This is what Google uses as their authority metric. So the higher your domain rating, the easier it is to rank. And this is why I'm saying let's not look at these because these are very high authority sites that can be very easy outranked, easily outranked. Because like I said, Google does not like to rank Yelp. They'd much rather rank the actual pressure washing company because that's normally what the searcher is looking for. And all Google is trying to do is give the searcher the best result possible. So again, let's let's negate these. Let's look at these real companies here. So we're going to look in at this one, this one, this one, and this one here. And it's not going to click it, but I'm going to look at the domain rating here. So this is out of 100 again, um, anything like Yelp or, or Facebook or or any of the um, any of the major websites on the Internet are going to have a super high DR. But look here, four out of 100, zero out of 100, zero out of 100, nine out of 100. Again, these are your competitors. So um, unless you are these people and you're doing very well. But these most likely are your four biggest competitors. And I want to show you what the traffic they're doing just because they rank and just because their website's optimized to rank. So as you can see here, they're getting 91 traffic. Um, what is this? Smart pressure cleaning to over 200 traffic to the website. So you can think of that as, as uh, in real life, if you're a retail store, getting 90 people in front of your store versus getting 200 people in front of your store. I mean, which one would you rather have, right? Obviously, you'd rather have more people, more clicks, more traffic, more conversions, more sales. So this is why SEO is so important. Just because they're doing the right things on the website, just because they are optimized, they are getting more traffic. And why they're getting more traffic, um, even though they're lower rank, um, that I cannot tell you. Um, that just happens sometimes. Honestly, I don't couldn't tell you why more people. It just be, they might be more prominent in the area. People are specifically searching um, for that specific company. So. Um, but yeah, I just want to quickly show you an overview here of what can happen. Even just the tank, 10th ranked spot, they're getting over 100 traffic. So I want you to imagine that these people are converting even just 10% of this of this traffic into jobs. I mean, that's 20 jobs every, this is monthly traffic, monthly organic traffic estimate. Every single month, that's 20 jobs just because the website's optimized. So that's the importance of making, of having your website optimized. Uh, so today, what we're going to the company we're going to be looking at and doing an audit of is Elliot's pressure cleaning. Um, first, I want to show you what they're ranking for right now. So these are the keywords that they're ranking for currently, and these are the positions. This is the traffic that they're getting from this. So for our uh, keyword, we're doing we're doing here pressure washing Naples for pressure washing Naples, Florida. They're ranked 15th, and that's on the second page. And honestly, if you're on the second page. Um, it's it's not worth anything honestly you got to be on the on at least on the first page because people these days just aren't scrolling they're barely scrolling past the top three results um i think it's something like 60 percent of all searchers don't even look past the top three results so um you can see why it's so powerful to be the top three so this is just an overview of what elliotscleaning.com 
uh, what type of traffic they're doing, what type of position. And uh, let's jump right into the actual audit. Uh, what I like to do anytime I'm auditing a website is first look at all the technical um, aspects of the website. Google just rel rolled out a new update, or I say they just rolled it out. They rolled it out uh, last April, I believe, or is April 2021. Um, so over a year ago, or yeah, over a year ago. And uh, so having your website load quickly is insanely important right now. And it's actually pretty simple to do. If you want to check how well your own website's doing in the eyes of Google, technically, uh, you can go to PageSpeed Insights. This is the address right here. Plug in your website and desktop. They're doing great. There's nothing here that is uh, stopping them from ranking. Um, they're doing really well. But another update that came through um, within the last year, uh, Google made it incredibly important to make sure that your mobile uh, site, your website's mobile friendly, that it's easy to navigate, and that the technicals on your website or your mobile website are um, are, are uh, up to standard as well. So as you can see here, mobile, they could use some, uh, they could use some improvement here. What Google does is they take the two websites separately. So you might be ranking number one on desktop, but you might be ranking number 20 on mobile. And uh, most searchers are coming from mobile these days. So it is incredibly important to make sure that your mobile site is also uh, up to standard. So this is the first thing that I would improve. Uh, just make sure your website's technically sound. And then the next thing, like I said, um, with Google's uh, mobile update, it is it is uh, incredibly important to make sure that your website is mobile friendly. You can go to mobile friendly test here. This is a Google website and you just plug your website in and it will say yes or it will say no. And it'll tell you exactly what you need to do to fix it. So that's the technical part. Um, they're doing very well on desktop. Uh, they could use some improvement on um on mobile, mobile friendly. So let's jump into the actual results here. So when you actually Google pressure washing Naples, Florida, uh, this is what comes up. You actually have some ads here and this is what's called the map pack. This is uh, very important to rank for if you can do it. A lot of it has to do with uh, posting your uh, before and after pictures every single week uh, or even twice a week would help getting your reviews up. As you can see, this person has 84, 24, um, this person just might be, must be doing a great job, no website. Sometimes it's kind of random how Google ranks this map pack. Um, but what I can say for sure is that if you have a lot of good reviews and you're con consistently posting uh, your results on your Google My Business, you will pop up here eventually. Um, so as I said, Yelp, Angie, uh, these are all the top. This is the number one actual uh, pressure washing company that shows up. Going to the second page here. And here is Elliot on the second page. Uh, these are all ads, one, two, three down on the second page. So, and like I showed you before, he's not actually getting that much traffic at all because people aren't scrolling to the second page to find this. Um, so I just, to start out here, I want to go, and this is what's called the metadata. So this is the meta title and this is the meta description. Uh, the meta description doesn't matter as much as the meta title, but for the meta title, you definitely want to make sure you have your keyword at, in the beginning of your meta title. So he has it right here, look at this, Naples pressure washing, pressure washing Naples, Florida. Uh, Google looks at that as essentially the same thing. Um, you can go over here and see which one's getting more traffic. So as you can see, pressure washing Naples, actually, let's see, I'm not gonna do it that way, but pressure washing Naples, Florida gets 350 um, roof cleaning. So let's go see what his uh, pressure, wa Naples pressure washing. So, I mean, it's this is good. At least you have um, the, your keyword at the beginning of your meta uh, title. So you're good there. Uh, as for the meta description, when I see his pressure washing is Naples, good, you're good there. So you're technically, your mobile could use some improvement, desktop's good, mobile friendly, and your metadata is good. You don't have any issues there. So let's go on page here. So this is called on page SEO. This is just making sure that the everything that's actually on the page is uh, is optimized. So the first thing I wanna say here is, nowhere um, above the fold. So above the fold is anything that you can see without scrolling on the website. You, there, nowhere does it have your, your main keyword. So you always wanna have your main keyword as the number one, as the biggest text, the first text. Um, it is the most important text on your website. It's called a header one or an H1. You wanna make sure that your keyword is in your H1, very prominent on your website because that is the uh, largest, one of the largest on-page signals to Google saying, Okay, this page is about pressure washing in Naples, Florida, but it is not here. The closest I see is serving Southwest Florida. 
um, but that's not good enough. You, you got to just have a big header here that says pressure washing services, Naples, Florida. Then we come down here. Um, I like that you have a before and after here. That's actually pretty cool. I like that. Um, you have your services listed. Let's see. So you do have separate service pages. Let's see how you have them lined up here. So roof cleaning is a big keyword out here. So gutter, look, so you have gutter cleaning services here. You should, it should be uh, gutter cleaning services, Naples, Florida. And then let's see if you have your location anywhere else. I like they have free estimate over 30 years competitive pricing. Um, okay, I don't mind having the information there, but again, this page, uh, you need more content on this page. Google doesn't like what it's called thin content. There's not really much going on here. You are trying to educate them. But again, your keyword doesn't show up at all. What people are searching for, yes, they're going to be searching gutter cleaning services, but you're in Naples and that's the main city that you um, operate in. It looked like Naples and Fort Myers. Uh, just for this example, uh, we're going to assume it's Naples. So like I said, you want to make sure your keyword is your main keyword is at the top. So this is your H1 right here. This is what I was talking about that needs to be on the home page. Just put gutter cleaning services, Naples, Florida, and you'll be good. Add your keyword again. So gutter cleaning services, Naples, Florida, you could say why clean your gutters in Naples, Florida. Um, if you want to like pack it in there, you can, or you can just create another little section under here or above it with your keyword. Um, I would also add uh, maybe some images or or just some specifics about the service because this page is kind of lacking on content. Let's go to the roof cleaning. Again, roof cleaning Naples, Florida will serve you well because as you can see here, uh, look, roof cleaning Naples, Florida gets 300 searches every single month. So imagine and you're still ranked on the second page. So imagine if you could jump in front of the, that traffic and uh, imagine if you could convert even just 10% of that traffic. Again, that's a lot of that's a lot of revenue just because your website is optimized to get in front of that traffic, right? And again, um, why clean your roof? I don't see the keyword here at all. Um, don't really know what these are doing here. Free estimate. Yeah, you, I think you just need more content and you need to make sure your main keyword is in your H1. So let's go back to the home page here. I'm assuming these are going to be more of the same. So look, you did it here, soft washing in Naples. And we can go back here. I, saw, I thought I saw a soft wash somewhere. Uh, power washing is probably here, but I'm missing it. I'm pretty sure I saw a soft wash somewhere in here. Um, so again, you you know, I can tell you know it's important because you have it here. You just need to have it on all your other pages and especially on your main page because what your main page is ranking for is pressure cleaning or pressure washing services in Naples, Florida. Um, I don't mind that you have that. You have your... Uh, phone number prominent. What can we clean for you? I just from a conversion standpoint, I would I would have a stronger call to action there. This is what's called a CTA or call to action button. What can we clean for you? I'd like to see that be changed to something like um, um, get your depending on what page it's on, um, get your roof cleaned now or or something along those lines. That's just more direct. Uh, I, cause honestly, I didn't even realize this was a button. I thought it was just kind of like a slogan until I clicked on it. It takes you to a form and, um, yeah, I think there could be more done there. Let's go down to the bottom here. And I do like that you have Facebook linked. Google likes to see that, um, here though, the service areas, I think you could do better here by making a Google, my business, um, uh, account and setting up your business there so that it does show up. Uh, again, this is the map pack right here. So this is the map pack. This is what Google My Business is. So when you click one of these, just showing for anyone that might not know. Um, so you're listed. These are all the listings right here. So what you can do is to, um, and obviously Google likes it when you plug in their products and Google My Business is a Google product. So plug it, or uh, embedding your Google My Business onto your website directly it gives Google a little ping that says, okay, so this person is a real legit business and it just gives you more authority in the eyes of Google. So I would like to, I like that you have uh, this here and you have 34 likes. So I'm sure that you have clients or customers that you could um, send a link to, to get reviews pretty quickly to boost your Google My Business. But I would like to see that embedded here instead of just this static image for our service area. Always good to have your phone number, um, having the address helps a ton. And um, email, they can all have in the uh, all this down here. It, I mean, it, it matters in the eyes of Google. It's just even if it's a tiny little bump, Google does like to see that. Um, 
again, maybe make this a little bit more prominent, uh, like they have Facebook linked. Uh, let's see. So you do have reviews over here. Does this just go to? Okay. Yeah, so w once you get Google My Business set up, then you can actually embed like real Google My Business reviews up here just to make it a little bit more trustworthy. I do like they have the before and after. Um, but yeah, all, all said and done. Um, I mean, I think you've got a great start here. I think you could do you could do a lot by just adding your keyword in the H1 header. You've already got your you've already got your um, keyword in your metadata right here. Oh, see, sorry, I was looking at the wrong one. I was looking at the wrong one. Look, so let's go back to the metadata, the meta title here. He has it just has Naples, Florida out here. I know a lot of a lot of companies think it, it's best to put your brand name here, but what you're doing is trying to rank at Google. So what I want to see here is this say Naples pressure cleaning, or honestly, it should say pressure washing Naples, Florida, because that's what's getting the most traffic. So I want to see this change to pressure washing Naples, Florida, and then have a different. You don't need to put roof cleaning in there because then Google it. it it's called keyword cannibalization, where Google doesn't know which one to rank for because it sees both. Uh, so what I would like to see, just change this. This is your home page. You already have a roof cleaning page that you can target this keyword for. So just change this to um, pressure washing Naples, Florida, and then have a little dash or something and put Elias pressure cleaning. If that's your actual business name, which it is, I can see. So I'm just going to do a quick recap. I know that was a lot of information there. Um, first, make sure your website's technically sound, both desktop and mobile. Mobile could use some work. Make sure it's mobile friendly, which it is. Make sure that you have your main keyword at the at the front of your meta title. Again, this is the meta title right here, meta description. I don't mind that you have your phone number right here in the free estimates. I like that. Uh, maybe just put uh, pressure washing Naples, Florida in the meta, uh, meta description here, but definitely for sure put pressure washing Naples, Florida at the beginning of your meta title. That'll help you a ton. And then um, just some simple on-page SEO you could put um, definitely put your main keyword pressure washing in Naples, Florida at the top here. Think of highlighting or changing the uh, call to action just to make it a little more clear what you want them to do. Um, I really like the, the slider that you have here. Um, change all of your, your uh, service pages to include your keyword. So roof cleaning, Naples, Florida, paper sealing, Naples, Florida, gutter cleaning, Naples, Florida, and go and just add some more info on these pages. So they're not so, um, they're not so thin, right? And then last thing I'm gonna say is create a Google My Business page and link it right on your website. And honestly, I think you'll be doing very well after that. Again, it is very easy to rank for this keyword. And um, I want to see you jump in front of all this traffic and uh, earn a lot more money because um, honestly, if you have a website, it might as well be optimized. So uh, I hope you found uh, any of this useful and um, I hope you have a great day. Thanks. Bye.